This is an absolute must watch to protect yourself because if you don't know what goes on in this industry, you will burn, crash and burn by these kinds of scum. In a world full of Yu-Gi-Oh cards, grading, selling, buying, one card game remains supreme. One man has the insights you need to know. Watch and subscribe now. Yu-Gi-Oh! Tube. I got a great idea. I mean, this is mind-blowing. You agree? You agree, Sully? You're in for something fun! So, I'm gonna take this Winged Dragon of Raw, right? PSA 9. Look how shiny... Look at this card. I mean, this is a beauty. Look at all that foil. And you know what I'm gonna do? I have this master plan. This devious plan. But it's gonna work. I'm gonna fool everybody. I'm going to crack open this card with my bare hands. Yeah, they call me the Hulk for good reason. With my bare hands. Could you believe it? I didn't break a nail. Open it, okay, this PSA 9. Take out the label, or perhaps leave it in. Take my 9 quality card, okay? And then I'm gonna slide another one that I have, right? Let me, let me look in my drawer real quick. Oh man, can't seem to find it right now. But you know what I'm gonna do? Is I'm gonna slide a creased or super, super destroyed copy of this raw card raw card get it no pun intended raw put it inside and still retain the nine here because all i did was flip it up because these these cases are so flimsy that what i'm going to do is i'm going to put the new card in and just shut it together and maybe glue a little bit of the sides you know a little bit of that but make sure there's no indentations make sure there's nothing else that would make anybody suspicious okay because it's not like they're going to look at the card or anything. They're not going to look at the card inside the case and say, Oh my gosh, there's a huge crease going through it. Look at all that whitening on the border. Nobody's going to be so smart to do something like that, right? Or you know what? If I screw it up and I take my pliers and I crack the edge in the corner of the case and sell it as well, it was a mistake. It shouldn't be that way. I don't know what happened. My dog ate the corner. You know? And then I put it on eBay like this, like a nine. If I screwed it up, you know, and it's got a crack in that corner, it's okay. It's okay. I'll say that PSA may or may not be able to recase it. I'm not sure. I'll say that. But... I'm sure I could get a sucker. I mean, it's still a PSA nine, right? I don't. They probably won't care as much if the grade, if the uh, the case is a little bit cracked. But but as long as it's a nine, there's someone out there that's gonna buy it, and they're not gonna question. Why would they question me? Because you know PSA, their quality control. They they come like this all the time. There's massive scrapes. There's massive creases. There's chips all over the place. You know, sometimes I just get boxes from PSA, right? And I have all these plastic chips all over my box. And I'm like, this is like popcorn. And I start eating them and popping them in my mouth because PSA sends me back cracked cases all the time. I mean, is that normal? That's normal. I'm, I gotta advertise it as normal because, because it is, right? And one sucker will buy it. So here's my two plans. My two plans are, plan one, try and crack it, and if I screw it up, and it, and it leaves a, a bite mark in the corner, and a crack in the corner, then I just sell it like that, because I know I screwed up, but, but nobody knows except me. Shh, nobody, nobody knows. All right. Oh, and he does. Just, just us two. Okay, so that's that. that. That's option one. Option two of my great pyramid scheme, right? Pyramid schemes. Is that I slide another card in successfully, keep the line label, another Winged Dragon of Raw in here, a, a poor condition, and then I sell it for what a nine goes for. 
and it was only worth like two dollars because it was like a PSA 2 and I could sell it for what a 9 sells for isn't that genius like isn't that honestly genius I'd glue it a little bit you know and, and no one looks at the sides of the case no then they're never gonna see something like that they're never gonna see glue protruding it's just gonna be some sort of other fluid This is genius. This is so genius. I'm so excited. Okay. So, what we saw here, it, it, it's almost com so comedic. It, it's just, it's mind-boggling to wonder what goes through people's minds. So, in the last week or two, we've seen somebody on Instagram Okay, and, and I should expose, I should say the, the person's name. Uh, I mean, this is this is ridiculous. This, this is unprecedented stuff. The stuff you see it, try people try to pull off is just so freaking hilarious. I'm selling an eye, blue eyes, white dragon. And um, but wait, 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 hold on. Two weeks ago, you post. I am buying any L O B first edition blue eyes white dragons. I will buy any and all of all conditions. All blue eyes matters. So, let me see. A blue eyes as a nine. It's got whitening all over the edges. Okay, it's a little suspicious, right? And then, and then you look at the sides, and it looks like it was almost creased or glued. It was tampered with. And then you question this person. Say, well, wait a second. Wait a second. This blue eyes isn't a nine. There's no way. There's no way this blue eyes is a nine. Yeah, it is, man. Yes, it absolutely is. And it's $3,000. $3,000 for this nine blue eyes white dragon. It's a steal. A steal and a deal. So then I'm going to list it on eBay. And I'm going to make my money. And hey, well, everything will be fine, right? It's about time somebody opens their mouth about this issue. And I like to be vocal, right? I don't like to reveal names. I don't like to single anybody out. At the same time, this is going on. This is concerning. This is something for every person who collects PSA cards. This is a must watch so you do not get scammed. This is an absolute must watch to protect yourself because if you don't know what goes on in this industry you will burn crash and burn by these kinds of scum okay so again what happened the person took a blue eyes a raw blue eyes ungraded blue eyes terrible shape had a nine blue eyes already cracked it open from the top because the cases were not great uh they, they were very supposedly very e easy to open Cracked it open, had the had the label on the card, slid another blue eyes in, recased it, glued it on the sides, and poof, he had a whatever it is, PSA one or two quality or three quality blue eyes in a PSA nine label, and tried to sell this thing off for what a PSA nine goes for. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? There's a special spot in jail for this kind of person and this individual. Okay, the more I see this going on, and keep in mind here, folks, okay, at the Sport Card National, the FBI was investigating all the trimmed sports cards and altered sports cards that were on the market. So if you don't think that by slipping in your one or two worthy blue eyes into a nine case... If you don't think you're going to get caught or legal action could be against you, you got something else coming to you. Keep doing it. I encourage you to keep doing it because eventually you'll get your butt in jail or at least fined heavily. And you're going to have to sell all those blue eyes that you just acquired to try and scam everybody. So it's up to you. You have a, qu you, you, you have a choice. You could continue to make excuses and say, no, 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 it came from PSA like this, no, no. And then just go off on some other tangent about something and try and hope that everybody forgets. But here's the thing. You set the example. Nobody forgets anymore. 
and now everybody's looking at you, what you did, how you tried to manipulate the case, the card, the company, and the customer, and now everybody knows your secret and knows what to look out for. So, for everybody who didn't know what happened, again, explain perfectly. First of all, you see sometimes there's cases with uh, cracks in it. Don't buy those. Just literally don't even buy them for a buck. They're, they're useless, um, useless auctions. Secondly, unless they were legitimately from the factory like that, but obviously if there's a literal bite mark in the, in the corner of the case, don't buy it. Secondly, buy a card from a reputable source. Don't buy it from nonsense. If you look at a card, there's one thing to say. It's a nine, and it's like, all right, there's a little surface scratch. All right, there's a little, there's some whitening on the edge. There's some whitening on the corner. But when you look at it, if you see excessive whitening, like excessive, you're talking like PSA 2, 3, if you see a crease, if you see anything like that, red alert, red flag, okay? Come to me, message me on Instagram and say, look, is this a tampered with case, a tampered with cards? And if you see like the sides of the case or the front of the case, the frosting on the case, if you see that's kind, it doesn't look the same as all the other ones, mention it, okay? Go to Instagram, go to me, go to somebody, send somebody an email, you know, mention it. Because just because the label is legit and you look up the label and you're like, okay, it is a nine, that doesn't mean the card was not swapped out. Now, again, there are the telltale signs. It's, it's crazy to think that the seller actually thought that they'd get away with this. Um, because what they were doing is just swapping it, putting crap cards into a nine case and then sub submitting the, the former nines that they took out of the case and getting nines on it. So they're basically getting two nines for the price of one nine and one crap card, okay? But just be wary of this stuff, okay? People tamper with cases. People try and crack their cards open. People have even, as I just mentioned, tried to slide their own other crap cards into nine and 10 cases. Again, very unlikely that they can get away with this without you really noticing, unless you're a total like newbie in the, in the in the PSA grading uh, card industry. You'll know. I mean, you'll know right away. You should. And if they do a really good job, you still should find out. But the more I I think about this, how disgusting this is, the more I just want to just rant and rant and rant because this guy needs to be put behind bars. There's a special place in jail for these kind of people. Yeah. So, watch out. Inspect the card. Again, if there's slight edge wear on a 10, don't, don't worry about it. If there's a little corner whitening, don't worry about it. If there's a little scratch, don't worry about it. But if there's creases all over the place, if there's whitening all over the edges, if it doesn't look like a card, if the case looks tampered with, you have a question to ask yourself. And you have a question maybe to ask others. Because this is a community here, and we're here to help each other, not hurt each other. And when you have people looking for a quick buck like this, looking to make thousands of dollars potentially on one transaction, you shut them down, and you say enough is enough. And if it happens again, well, that anonymous name might not be so anonymous. So. All right, everybody. Until next time, I hope everyone has a great weekend. Yu-Gi-Oh! Tube, signing out.